Well, hello everyone, it's Tansy here from Tansy Forest Hypnotherapy, signing in with a special hypnosis, sleep hypnosis for positive thinking and moving on from challenging life events. Now this narrative will be helpful if you've experienced some difficult times and are finding it challenging to let go of the past. This narrative will help you transmute negative emotions and reframe them into more positive perspective. It will also help you heal emotionally whilst letting go of the day and falling into a peaceful and rejuvenating night's sleep. And I have had some extra input on this topic from a lovely client that I'm working with in Australia. So thank you very much to you. I'm sending my very best wishes for your continued well-being and success. And in addition, I've added some themes from a lovely young man from the south of England, sending hugs your way and congratulations for the great progress you've made. And the inspiration for this setting was taken from a trip I took to Highgate in North London and the beautiful parklands of Kenwood House and Hampstead Heath. And you'll see in some photos embedded in the video, so I do hope you enjoy. And I want to say hello to all you lovely subscribers around the world, in America, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Indonesia, Hawaii, Germany, France and many more besides and all the work and the time it takes to create these videos to help and heal is also made possible by our Patreon community and it's an exclusive group growing day by day so thank you so much to you all and if you're thinking about becoming a patron please see the link in the notes below and finally if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe as you will be notified on Sundays when I release new videos. So for now, this is your time. A lovely time that you can really look forward to every night, where I speak with you and convey a gentle and healing narrative that will fill your body and mind with positive, restful and calming thoughts and images. And this will be the perfect antidote if you've been feeling stuck in the past. Maybe you've been spending time ruminating, going over experiences that you've had in your life. You are safe with me and you can just allow my words to wash over. And when you're ready, when it's the right time for you, you can just gently close down your eyes. And it's my privilege to be your guide on this journey deep within as I take you to a really beautiful, historic and charming place. It might be somewhere you've been, or perhaps somewhere you'd like to go, but it doesn't matter either way, as I will conjure the images of this place in your heart and mind. As 
as you drift down to feelings of deep ease. And I know it's not easy to move on from challenging life events. And as a therapist, I talk to many people about their lives. And the rich tapestry of their lives that hold many positive events also hold some painful and difficult times too. For some people, it can be challenging to let go of upsetting experiences and sometimes it may even feel as if we are reliving them in our minds. And this may periodically be distressing, but you are not alone. There is hope and there is light and this narrative will help you to peacefully create distance, to begin to let go. move on in a way that's personal and fulfilling to you. And as your eyelids stay peacefully closed, move away from the everyday world and focus your attention inwards. Creating a space of inner calm. You might like to take a few moments stretching out your arms and legs, your shoulders, stretching out the kinks of the day. That's good. To find yourself the most comfortable position in your cosy bed. And we're going to begin with some nice deep breathing. Inhaling deep through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. So just go ahead and do that now. like you to try something a little different. First breathing in through your nose, then out through your mouth. And when you release the air out through your mouth, just breathe it out as a deep sigh. Just go ahead and do that now. That's good. And again. That's good. Letting go. And you can feel how your body is starting to relax now. 
just releasing any tension as you feel your body sinking down into the surface below you. This is your time now, the time you've set aside to rest and heal. The day is done. And I know that you're a good person, that you've given your best today, and that everything else is worthy of forgiveness. This is the time that you've chosen to drift gently into a peaceful, hypnotic state as I make positive, beneficial suggestions that will be deeply implanted into the subconscious mind and I would like to begin with certain gentle mindfulness techniques and these techniques are very good to bring us back into the present moment when we're thinking about the past, ruminating or worrying about what the future may hold, it can be helpful to bring us back into the present time and the present place. And you can begin by tuning in with your breathing now. No need to change your breathing. Just observing its normal, natural pace. Just moving your attention to the point above your top lip and below the nose. Perhaps you can observe the air as it blows in and out of the nose, just observing, just noticing as the tummy expands, as the air flows into your lungs and the stomach deflates as it moves back out through your nose or mouth into the space that surrounds you. Just observing, connecting to the breath, brings us back into the present moment. And now expanding your awareness to your ears the sense of hearing from both points, listening to sounds inside of this room and outside. I'd like you to see if you can hear three different sounds inside this room or further afield. Searching for sounds. Moving your awareness in space. Gently. Peacefully. Moving your attention between different stimuli and sometimes noticing thoughts rising like bubbles up and up and then moving on, moving on. Nothing stays the same. Everything is in a state of impermanence. And that's just fine, it's just 
the way it is. You are gently observing the experience of life with more ease, recentering yourself in the present moment. Feeling your body, the connection of your limbs to the surface below you, supporting you, connecting you, and in a different way you are connected to others around the world, connected by the universal human experience. As you drift a little deeper, feeling a little calmer, you can come with me to this place of beauty, deep in the imagination, and I would like you to imagine that you're standing in a ticket tour, you just left the train and arrived at Highgate, it's a beautiful old station and the ticket office has dark shiny green tiles, characteristic of the Victorian era. As you look about this place, it's almost like stepping back in time. As you step out into the street, you find yourself in the high street, gorgeous little shops lining the streets, it has a villagey feel and the beautifully gorgeous little cake shops, florists and bakeries lining the streets. Autumn leaves are abundant, yellow and brown, flowing down in the wind from the trees above and collecting in little clusters on the pavement. As you walk, you feel so relaxed, taking in the sights, the quaint little shops, and the houses. Every house is beautifully adorned with window boxes, cyclamen of white and purple, little yew bushes trimmed neatly, and many plants with ornamental red berries, a beautiful shade of red in this autumn season. You can smell the scent of fresh bread and cakes wafting from the bakery. There are not many people around and you are really enjoying looking around this lovely little place, feeling relaxed and peaceful. The sun is bright an autumnal feel about it, and the sky is bright blue as you wander on, enjoying the views. You pass by a lovely church with a towering spire that seems to connect with the skies above. The grey stone of the church is covered in green moss. The gardens that surround the church have many bushes and trees that flank the walkways. The 
this place looks as if it hasn't been changed for many, many years. And as you walk, you take in more opulent surroundings too. You are struck by how many trees there are in this lovely village. As you start to walk downhill for a while, past beautiful little houses covered with ivy, nooks and crannies, and special little doorways that lead into the beautiful houses. Some small, that look cosy as can be, and other houses, large and opulent, with many, many windows, and trailing vines that climb up and up the walls. It's such a charming and unusual place that used to be known for its intellectual, liberal, musical and literary association. You feel calm and happy here as it has a relaxed, yet intriguing vibe about it. The hill continues to take turn downwards as you move down into a deep and peaceful state. And as if by magic, you find yourself walking on Hampstead Heath. A beautiful large expanse of forests and the famous swimming lakes. It's a huge area and as you walk you take in the stunning autumnal sight trees and many tall oaks. The main trees are beech and oak and a few different trees dotted in between such as hazel and yew trees. The shrub layer has many holly bushes and rowan. At the top of the highest hill is 98 meters high and is notable for its excellent views of the London skylights. view over the skyscrapers of Canary Wharf, where the City of London can be seen, along with St Paul's Cathedral and many other landmarks, all in one panorama. Many of the trees are over 500 years old and as you walk through the trees a huge hollow beech tree captures your eyes. It's polished and smooth inside. so many generations of locals that would have climbed inside its hollow trunk. It lost a third of its canopy in the big storm of 1987. And as you look across 
the wild and natural state of the heath is absolutely beautiful at this time of year. The trees, the brown clusters of leaves gathered in piles, and you can hear the wind rustling through the trees. As you walk along, the ground underfoot is rocky in places and there is moss within the grass which makes it soft underfoot. As you move forward, after some time, you find that you are going deeper and deeper into the wood holly trees and the rowans clustered in places and you find yourself walking along a more narrow path, a deeper, darker path towards the beautiful Kenwood House on the north side of the heath. It's set on rolling fields of green and surrounded by beautiful trees. As you move along the path, you take into yourself a sense of deep peace. It feels as though you can experience beauty of the Victorian period, stepping back in time, as this place feels untouched in many ways. The path underfoot is now flinty, and you find yourself walking uphill towards the beautiful pale cream house that you can see in the distance. The rhododendron bushes of deep dark green with their leaves, the glossy leaves are thick along the side of the pathway. There are holly bushes too, with their red berries, so glossy, all ready for the Christmas season. Holly promises hope for the future. You take into your heart this beautiful sentiment as you travel forth towards the house. After a while, you see a lovely bench that overlooks the most beautiful lake in Kenwood, dappled in sunshine, you decide to stop for a while and take in this gorgeous view, relaxing back on the wooden bench, you find that it's perfectly comfortable and there's no one around. Just take in this gorgeous view. The water is still like a mill pond and it has the most lovely calming effect. There are ducks swimming here and there, their grey brown feathers and bottle green shining in the sunshine as they move forward carving through the water, gently, quietly. And you find that you can direct the soft, warm sunshine over your face. And as you do, any lines or expressions on your face simply smooth out. The 
warmth of the sunshine moves down your face and releases any tension from your jaw now. You can just let any tension from your jaw be released now. Relaxed and free. You can make adjustments to the muscles around your eyes now. It feels so good to make those small adjustments as the gentle balm of this autumnal sunshine flows into your neck area now all the muscles and fibres in your neck are now released and relaxed. And then down into your shoulders, you feel your shoulders sinking down, allowing the kinks of the day to be removed. And down into the chest area, down and down stomach as the organs become calm and quiet. This gentle easy relaxation flows into your right arm now, down and down into the elbow, the forearm, the hand, out, down and down, and then the left arm, down and down into the elbow, the forearm, the hand. Releasing and relaxing any tensions in both arms are feeling so at ease now. Release and relax all these tensions all the way from the shoulders to the tips of your fingers. Then down into the abdomen and down into your right side, smoothing out any tension of the day. Release and relax these tensions as it flows into your knee area. Calm the ankle, and then down to your right foot, and the toes. And then that gentle autumnal sunshine flows into your left side now, releasing and relaxing the thigh, and then down into your knee. And the knees can be a place where we can hold tension and tiredness. But you can just let that go now. Release on the out breath. As you can feel any strain or discord simply flowing away from you now. Down and down through the toes. Down and down. Your whole body is feeling warm peaceful and relaxed, just sitting on this beautiful bench, tucked away, gazing over the lake. And as you gaze out across the lake, you are beginning to have a new and wonderful realisation deep feeling within yourself that everything is going to be alright. You know you will find the support that you need, guidance from others, and also new reserves of strength within yourself to help you grow, develop and heal. The next chapter of your life hasn't been written yet. 
and you understand on a deep level that you are the author of your journey and from this point forward you know that you will take yourself where you need to go. Each day you will lay another brick in the wall to create new structures of strength, self-knowledge and support that you need to flourish. You know there's no need to focus on the whole old war, just lay another brick each day, every day, caring for you and bringing back your personal reserves of strength. You understand that it will not always be easy, but it will be worth it. And there may be days where you will have setbacks, but that's normal and expected. You will see the bigger picture in which positive developments in your sense of self are taking place at this deep level. And that small changes day by day to look after you will lead to bigger changes. Progress is not perfection. But just for now, you can relax and really enjoy this time. The sunshine reflects from the lake. You are bathed in these warm and beautiful feelings of deep tranquility. On the lawn surrounding the lake are the most beautiful autumnal trees. Bright red and yellow leaves adorn these huge trees. And there is a mulberry tree with its special rocky bark that curves and weaves around and large yellowy green leaves that cover the branches of this beautiful and majestic tree. Alighting from the bench, you walk dreamily up towards the beautiful Kenwood house and you can see from a distance its fine architecture. The amazing design of the house was created by the famous 18th century architect Robert Adam, who extended the house and designed many of the rooms inside. The star attraction being the Great Library. The building itself is very grand, painted in cream large French windows overlooking the fields and lakes beyond. Renovated in the style of the neoclassical villa, villa, this huge building is immensely grand. Renowned for its collection of old master and British paintings, including works by Rembrandt and Vermeer. Standing in front of the house, you can see out across the heath, the beautiful trees, the grass and the lakes. And the whole setting eases you into a state of tranquility and relaxation. I know that things for you have not always been easy, that times in the past have been very difficult. It's important for us to acknowledge that, and you have done so well to be in a position now to reflect on this, 
and it may be reassuring for you to know that these times are in the past. They cannot touch you now. They cannot touch you now. They are in the past. And sometimes memories of the past, they can evoke feelings that may be experienced in an intense way. However, as the days and the nights are going by, you are feeling more able to cope with this. You can take your time to realise that that was then and this is now and tune into the present moment with your breathing. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest now as the air passes in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just noticing, just observing. You may tune in to the sounds in the near or far distance. Because when your mind is engaged in the here and now, and you're feeling grounded, it's difficult to be simultaneously ruminating about the past, just bringing yourself into this space of being grounded, feeling your feet connecting with the floor or bed, feeling your hands just where they are right now, just noticing past cannot touch you. All we have is this moment and it is a gift, which is why we call it the present. There is nowhere for you to be right now. No one needs your attention right now. This is your special time to rest and heal and rest. You are safe here with me. And as you wander the grounds, you are feeling more and more relaxed. At last the sun is setting in the sky. It's turning from pale blue to a dark inky blue. You decide to retire for the night. Stepping inside this beautiful house, you're feeling relaxed and peaceful. The walls are adorned with beautiful paintings. There are fireplaces, soft rugs and tapestries adorning every inch of this exquisite place. You can relax here for the night. You're safe and feeling so calm inside this place. It's somewhere you can return to in your mind anytime. There's a beautiful fire burning in the hearth. As night is falling, you decide to spend some time sitting in a lovely high backed armchair. Put your feet up and take in the lovely views of the fireplace. You see some logs in a log basket by the hearth. And some of these logs have labels upon them. A label that may correspond to difficult times you've had in the past. A challenging circumstance difficult emotion, thoughts or feelings held by you or for you by anyone else. 
each one of these logs corresponds to a challenging time that you've had. All stored here in this log box. Now I would like you to pick up the first log. Just label that in your mind. Think of that time you've experienced in the past just as the label. And then you can throw that log on the fire. That's right, just throw it there. You are relieved of that log now. You can see that log immediately burning away. The fire is hot. And over a short period of time, the log is burning quickly to ashes. As the warm ambers collect in the fire, this log burns away to nothing. As it does, you feel a deep sense of relief. You cannot be defined by your past. You can release, release the past, release it to the flames as it burns. The smoke goes up the chimney. You feel a sense of freedom. And maybe there are a couple of other logs in the basket that represent difficult times for you. So one by one, take those logs and throw them on the fire. Symbolically, you are ridding yourself of that time. Because for you, it's time to move on. It's time to allow those memories to fade. This will allow you to move forward into a positive future with yourself. You're safe here. And this is a time when you can symbolically start to let go of those memories. They're being burned away now. Throw any remaining logs on the fire. And as you do so, you feel a sense of peace. The embers glow and you can see the ashes collected in the fire. You sit back and you feel so relaxed. This signals a new time for you. You breathe a sense of relief. So you can now get some physical and emotional distance from those events here in the past. We all have the right to move on. They cannot touch you. The fire is beautiful and healing and you feel safe and calm as I speak with you now. You feel in yourself on a deep level, tapping into your reserves of determination and resilience. You don't give up on things easily. And even though Things have been hard in the past. You will not give up on yourself. You will rebuild your life step by step, brick by brick, and you will come back stronger because of it. Your faith in yourself is so strong. And even though your road to wellness will sometimes have small detours, that's normal. You will be compassionate with yourself. Kind to yourself during those times. Because progress is not perfection. You feel deeply reassured. Because you know that your life is going to get better and better. 
any negative or fearful thoughts. You're really less and less interested now. Because fear will take us on a path in our mind, but it's not a helpful one. We've all tried it. It doesn't work and you are choosing a different way. You are choosing to see the progress that you are making. You can just spend some time enjoying this moment for you. Relaxing. And after some time, you feel a sense of tiredness wash over you. You see there's a candle on the fireplace. Striking a match, you light the candle, holding the candlestick as it guides you up the stairs to bed. You can see the beautiful red velvet or the carpet in front of you. This candle light guides you, positive, bright, moving you into a wonderfully positive future. As you step up the stairs towards your beautiful bedroom, you can see there are ten further steps towards your bedroom. I will count them off from ten to one as you move higher. You will feel more deeply relaxed. Ten. Feeling peaceful and safe. Nine. Drifting with my words. Eight. Moving calmly forward in a positive manner. Six, seven, five, easy rest, easy peace. Four, three, all the way up to this beautiful, calming place. Two, one, as you reach the top of the stairs see a doorway in front of you. A beautiful gold handle. You put your hand on the doorknob and turn it slowly. Walking into the room, you can see that your bedroom overlooks the beautiful garden and heath beyond. The stars, they're shining gleaming in the night sky, and your bed looks so inviting. You want to get in and relax, and release the day. As you pull back the soft duvet, you're feeling even more calm and peaceful. The sheets are clean and fresh, and your body sinks down the surface below you. Pulling the soft covers over you, you feel a deep sense of peace. As you rest your head on the pillow, you reflect on all that is good in your life. You feel grateful for the simple aspects of your life that make it good. Might be the warmth, the comfort of your bed, or the roof over your head. Just think now of three things in your life that you're grateful for while I am quiet for a moment. The moon is bright and shines upon the grass. The stars are in the black velvet of the night shining brightly. You're feeling so calm, rested, relaxed. Drifting with my words. 
easy rest, easy peace. Drifting up, drifting down, drifting gently into sleep. Good night. Good.